Good evening. It's a mystery that's received worldwide attention. What happened to thousands and thousands of dollars worth of bourbon stolen from two Franklin County distilleries? Tonight, investigators say they have finally made some answers. They say the thefts are part of a bigger crime ring, and now nine people have been indicted. Today, investigators talked about what helped them crack the case. Sean Moody is live for us with our top story at 6. Sean? Well, this case first grabbed international headlines back in 2013. That's when Franklin County Sheriff Pat Melton first announced that more than $25,000 worth of bourbon was missing from Buffalo Trace Distillery. Today, Melton announced his investigators had recovered more than $100,000 of bourbon stolen from Buffalo Trace Distillery as well as Wild Turkey Distillery. Melton said the thefts began back in 2008. It's, it's an ongoing pattern, and this is probably the tip of the iceberg. A Franklin County grand jury indicted nine people on a charge of engaging in organized crime. Melton said three of those people worked at either Buffalo Trace or Wild Turkey. Toby Kurtzinger worked on, on the loading docks and as a senior employee uh, worked down there and had access to about everything. He said a tip led them to Kurtzinger's home where he said investigators found five barrels of stolen wild turkey bourbon. From there, he said the Attorney General's Cyber Crimes Unit analyzed phones and computers. He said they turned up communications about selling the bourbon and it involved, of all things, a softball league. Put Gilbert Kurtzinger here, there's, there's tentacles that go out to, to these different folks, and that's how they interconnected uh, throughout the state was uh, friends through softball. Assistant Commonwealth's attorney Zach Becker said so far investigators have recovered bottles and barrels of bourbon from Franklin, Scott, Harrison, and Laurel counties. Melton believes there's more bourbon out there. Now, Melton said several of the people involved have reached out through attorneys to his office to see about turning themselves in. Live in Frankfurt, Sean Moody, WKYT. Sheriff Melton said the investigation is still open and his office is still hoping to recover more of the stolen bourbon. Here is a recap of the new information on the bourbon heist. Nine people were indicted and charged with engaging in organized crime. Investigators say the crime ring operated from 2008 to this year, targeting two distilleries, Buffalo Trace and Wild Turkey. Two people charged worked at Buffalo Trace, one of them at Wild Turkey. The rest are believed to have met through, as you heard Sean say, a softball league. In all, investigators recovered more than $100,000 in bourbon. The majority of it will be destroyed because its safety cannot be guaranteed.